You just woke up and it's actually November 9, 2013. What do you do? Spend time with my grandfather, since he died November 10, 2013. Spend more time with my dad. Bet on major sporting events. Invest in real estate. Buy Bitcoin. On November 9, 2013 Bitcoin was $127. Today Bitcoin is $36,333. Tell the Cincinnati Zoo to get better fences for their gorilla enclosure. You are the one the time traveler who will save us all. Godspeed. Oh man, I'm eight months pregnant again. Fuck you buddy. Who's an internet famous person that needs to go away? Anyone that uses their kids for likes and views. Adults may bug me but they can make their own decisions, kids can't. Does 5-minute crafts count as a famous internet person? Ace family, using kids for money is the worst shit any parents could have done. That family that adopted the Chinese kid, raised him for like 3 to 4 years, discovered he had disabilities, and gave him away, so they could find themselves, and help him lead a better life. Except the person they gave him to is now using him on Instagram for their own exposure and greed. And every family blog channel trying to get views with shit like, we called Chuck E. Cheese at 3 a.m. And, among us in real life gone wrong. Nikocado avocado. Somebody get that poor man off the internet and into a therapist's office. What common product has a feature you're not sure everyone is aware of? Netflix has a fitness or exercise genre where you can watch and work out alongside videos. A lot of people think that Febreze just covers up odors with perfume. It's actually an excellent odor remover and there's an unscented version that works extremely well and leaves no smell behind. It's just that when they first brought it to market, a lot of people didn't like it because they associate smelling clean with perfume products. They found that adding a perfume to it increased their sales. It's hard to find in stores but you can still order the unscented version on Amazon. Mobile phones have a low-powered speaker just above the screen, so you can put the phone to your head and other people can't hear your call. What is something luxurious you would never buy, even if you could afford it? Gold toilet. Designer luggage. Hey, look at me. I have too much money and I'm not from around here. Also, Nabbing this bag won't be a crapshoot for valuables because you can clearly see the bag itself is valuable. Food with gold in it. WTF is wrong with people who buy these things? A diamond ring. Screw the diamond monopoly. Reddit premium. A mansion. I can't imagine having so many rooms that your maid spends more time in them than you do. Who wants to live in a hotel? When I was a little kid. My friend and I thought that a mansion was so big that we could just move to another room so we would never have to clean our rooms. A forehead diamond or gold chain hair. Think I'll pass on these luxurious items. What's a modern day scam that's become normalized and we don't realize it's a scam anymore? Buying tech devices, for premium prices, then still having to pay subscriptions to make them actually do what they're supposed to do. Everything is a sneaky small monthly subscription. Service charge for buying cinema tickets online. I've got to pay you to buy something from you? Not being able to cancel a subscription online. I can subscribe in 5 minutes but I need to call your service agents and am forced to be rude to them to cancel it because as long as my voice sounds friendly they try to resell the damn subscription. Admin fees for completely automated services. Medical insurance not covering dental or vision. Like, it's all connected, guys. If you have a badly obsessed tooth, you're likely going to need medical care, even if you have dental that covers the extraction or root canal or whatever.